little late, but we just want to you know, give some time to uh, get some of our uh, colleagues here. And uh, visitors, I'm glad we see, uh, we, we see students here from uh, different parts of the campus, the medical schools in the building, which is, which is awesome. We've got the furthest thing from us here. <laughs> it's, it's good to see you guys here. Uh, my name is uh, Ruben De Silva. I'm uh, one of the, uh, the, uh, the chairman or chairpersons for this uh, program that we're going to have tonight uh, titled the uh, Book of Mormon and Introduction. Uh, in a second here, I'm going to introduce our, uh, our, uh, our discussion for the evening. The uh, very distinguished gentleman I'm very happy to have here uh, giving this talk to us uh, tonight. Uh, the way the, uh, the forum is actually going to run, uh, we'll, we'll have a, uh, some initial comments from me uh, to open up the, uh, the, the program. I'll introduce our, uh, our discussant, and then uh, he's, he's going to run the show uh, after that. And then uh, we'll have time for a question and answer, of course. And we really want this to be a great exchange between, uh, between everybody here in this room tonight. Uh, and uh, hopefully it's going to be a, a, a learning experience, which I'm looking forward to. It's going to be a great uh, learning experience for me as well. So with that said, I have a few opening comments here that I want to make. The Book of Mormon is a sacred text of the Latter-day Saint movement. The devout Mormons believe it was, the, it was first revealed to Joseph Smith in New York in the late 1820s. The book was first published in 1830. The Book of Mormon has a number of original and distinctive doctrinal discussions on subjects such as the fall of Adam and Eve, the nature of the atonement, eschatology, redemption from physical and spiritual death, and the organization of the Latter-day Church. The pivotal event of the text is an appearance of Jesus Christ to the Americas shortly after his resurrection. The Book of Mormon is the earliest of the standard writings of the Latter-day Saint movement, the denominations of which typically regard the text not only as a scripture, but also as a historical record of God's dealings with the inhabitants of the earth. To date, the Book of Mormon has been fully or partially translated into 108 languages. What is the Book of Mormon? To the faithful, it is the keystone of the faith, the revealed word of God, and indeed in the testament of Jesus Christ. To others, it is a book whose origins and teachings are the source of great questioning and controversy. Whatever it may be, one thing is certain. The Book of Mormon has inspired millions to a faith and inspired millions more to discuss the faith. It has become an iconic symbol of American religion and emblematic of the nation's independent spiritual nature. Today, it has unquestionably added much to the overall discourse of American and indeed world Christianity. Join us tonight as we delve into the Book of Mormon, explore its contents, and examine its message. Our discussion for tonight our, uh, is us. Uh, Chaplain Stephen Weber. Is Chaplain the proper title? I know you have so many. That's right. Bishop Weber, Chaplain Weber, Mr. Weber. <laughs> Stephen, I don't know what he did. But I'm going to go with Chaplain Weber. I think that the title of Chaplain has a specific residency here for many of the divinity school. Uh, Chaplain Weber did his undergraduate work at BYU in management psychology and went on to graduate study at the University of Nevada, Reno, in marriage and family therapy. I'm going to make a quick comment about that. I'm, I'm a Nevada myself, so that makes him a great man. But then we have, <laughs> we have a bit of an uh, issue here because he's a BYU grad and I'm a UNLV grad. And you know how the West Conference goes when it comes to basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Just had to make that little quick statement. <laughs> Chaplain Webb also has a master's in business that he obtained while serving as the LDS Institute director at the University of Washington. He has been in religious education since 1978 and has served on various religious and professional boards. Currently, he serves as the director of the LDS Institute of Religion here in New Haven. Chaplain Weber has also, also served as the LDS chaplain of at Yale University. He has served in many positions in the LDS church, including that of bishop. He currently serves on the New Haven State High Council. And uh, with that said, I'd like you to help me uh, welcome our distinguished speaker for the evening. Uh, Okay. 